This is Rod from Mount Washington Sewer and Drain Cleaning, and we're at number 108 Edmond Hill, is it? Edmond Hill Road in Berlin, New Hampshire. Uh, we're out here for a call for water that's appearing up in the uh, hallway downstairs basement area that's coming up underneath the tile. So we're going to do an inspection. I'm 35 feet outside the building right now. There is a piece of clay pipe that it is weeping in the ground outside. But that should be far enough away from where we are. Because I'm probably about where my van tires are. Now that way and there's enough slope going down that hill there. So we're going to start coming back and start looking to see if we can see anything. Suspicious that might be leaking. There's a 34 feet. There's another misjoint of PVC right there. All right, what are we at right here? What's this? We are transitioning into looks like some cast iron pipe right here. Turn right here. Okay. I'm at twenty seven feet, which I believe is where that uh, there's a floor drain inside the garage area. And I believe that's probably where it is and it picks that up. So uh, we should be north of that. We'll look and see if we can see any like rot holes or anything. I'm in the area now. I'm probably somewhere around just by the doorway. Yep. I feel this is where it seems to be originating, like right by the stairs, bottom of the stairs. You said it's not only not all the time. No. You run your washing machine, which is upstairs. Yep. Or heavy rains. Not even heavy rains. I I, I really haven't figured out like the trigger. Like I said, the only thing that I could think of was the washing machine because I ran it like at least six times that day. Okay. And that's when I noticed it seemed to be pretty continuous. Um, that was the only difference from like any of the other days. And, you know, we've had a lot of rain and I've never noticed it in there. Yeah. If the sewer was backed up, I would expect it to come back out of that floor drain in the garage. Okay. Because it wise over the next side there. It has come up before. Um, sometimes it just because it's clogged. There's like a, my father put like a um, strainer in there that I okay, need to yep. clean. And that's why it came up. It was clogged. But I think in the 30 years that I've been here, it's only happened like twice. Okay. Maybe it's possible it has nothing to do with the sewer. <laughs> it's a possibility. 
is the way the house is situated, the water has to be running this way because you said you saw some dampness underneath the stairs. Yeah, it was wet. It was that's that's where it was coming from. And your furnace is in there, right? Yep. It's a new one. How new is it? Uh twenty twenty. Just wonder if like that. Right before Luke passed, huh? He installed that for me. Yep. That was a big loss for oh the area. God, I liked him. Right? I worked with him for many years. Yes, he was a very nice guy with the furniture. So yeah, it doesn't seem to be leaking under there. I do have it, you know, maintained regularly. It's definitely you know, I'm almost thinking that I need to take that plywood off so we can see behind it. Maybe yep. that'll give us There is a fern co here. So I don't it's that rubber fitting. Yeah. So I don't know if uh it's coming down the pipe and it's weeping from this okay. thing here at all. Alright, so maybe just like a seal is might be just need to be tightened up. Oh good. But I wanna really see because normally if these things rot, it might be right where it makes a turn and goes down there because everything's falling down inside there. I know the last time we had that sewer leak too, I mean, I believe they replaced this pipe up here. Yep. I mean, I have a little bit of canaling at the bottom of the pipe, but that's just typical for, you know, drainage. Plus, you know, whatever muck was there, I kind of just basically pushed my camera through it. Now I'm coming back over it. In there? No, no it's it's, there. it's typical. Nothing to really worry about. Just kind of trying to go slow, just to see if I see like a hole somewhere. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to test? That water would, if it was coming through the sewer, would testing the water tell us or no? I'd be able to smell some sewage. You know, and I, I mean, is this any plumbing fixtures down here? Yeah. Like inside of here? Yep. Uh, is it a bathroom? Or oh, what's inside over oh, here? Oh, that's just a, a storage room, but I mean, there's all kinds of plumbing overhead. Okay, overhead? Yeah, and that's where like um, my refrigerator line goes and uh, I had a hose outside I don't know you now was there a bathroom or something on that side no never because I th think I'm looking at a connection right here roughly four feet I could see a Y up here in this corner it's near the time stamp so basically it's up inside of here I don't know what that's picking up and there's a bathroom right Straight ahead, right there. Inside there? Yep. Uh, can you go flush that for me? Uh, the toilet? Yes. Okay. You want to see if that's... Yeah, uh, there's, a, there's a shower. The shower would be like right here. And the toilet would be like maybe oh, six feet over. Okay. How so, often is that used? Um, lately, I've been airbnb it, so okay. it's not used all that often. Okay. And you haven't noticed any of those leaks while they're here? No, I mean, they're usually like two days. Um, I will say, yeah, it did happen after um, the weekend they were here. And then that's when I was using the laundry a lot because I was washing. Okay. So that's... I wonder hmm. you know, if there's the possibility that, um, well, you said you ran the washer. That washer comes straight down this pipe here. Yep. Um, that one's low enough that... Uh, I'll have you flush the toilet, see if that comes out of here, and then if there's something up maybe with a shower leaking somewhere behind it under the ground because it's so close that it's coming through. Ooh. So I'll have you do that. So uh, okay. go, go in there, give me a flush of the toilet. I want to see the that come first. through. Yep. Okay. And you know what? I'm just looking. Nothing. And I did one whole load of laundry. Okay. Well, I just still brown water, so I put the clothes in. Yep, I would have expected heavier water on the floor after that massive rainstorm we had, too. Yeah, no, nothing. Yep. 
that's definitely the bathroom right there coming through. Okay, can you turn the cold water onto that shower and just let it run? some water to the shower. It does run in my general direction. I'm not going to see if there's a, a hole at the bottom of the pipe here at all. Noticing that the floor is pretty wet, like around the toilet. Okay. Could it be possible that water is coming from outside and through possibly. that floor? And that would make sense. That's that a possibility. Going... All right, well, I suppose that's a good and bad thing. Like, is it wet behind the toilet, or do you think it might be like a wax seal? Nope, it's definitely not that. And uh, um, Sean checked all of that out. Okay. It seems to be originating from like the wall but it's not a puddle of water it just it's we thought maybe because he noticed that yep and i noticed that after the people left but it gets very damp in there of course it's cellar yes um and, and where that is i mean there could be a stream or something coming across that way there i have a lot of water in the back i mean it doesn't pool in the back but yes in the um spring we do have like a stream okay. that will come down the bank a little bit yep. um so yeah, it's very possible that it's groundwater. And he thought maybe it was just condensation Okay. from the humidity. I mean, yeah, that does happen quite a bit. I didn't see anything there. I'm trying to use this light here to look around and check this fern co here. Because see how this is, see this bottom part right here? Yep. See, there's a connection here, mm -hmm. and water can come down there. Yep. It can leak down that. That's what seemed to be happening. I was looking on, in, on the floor, too, to see if it looked wet down there. It looked a little damp towards the right side, you know, like the actual cement. Okay, yep. But not so much on the other side. Well, I guess that would make sense. It's coming from that room. Right? It looks pretty yeah, wet, I'm huh? trying to see if I could see, like, maybe some water marks or something yeah. that have been coming down there. little dampness there but I think that's just a spray from the PV blaster to loosen up the cap. Oh yeah. Yeah I did. did get in the See some dampness down there. This is the corner of where that comes over. And just behind here is the stairs where you said you saw some dampness over there. Yeah. So this if I was that bathroom, yeah. how far along that wall is that, like, like where would it end if I came out of a door, like? Probably, like, here-ish. Okay, I mean, that is right yeah. in that wet zone. Yeah, it is. Water will seek its own path. Oh, yeah. So it's probably coming from somewhere over there. 
just and then drifting through over that way. Okay, well, in a way, so, but you don't think it's anything I didn't to do see with anything story. inside the pipe. Okay, so that's really the best news probably that I would hope for. <laughs> well, I mean, it's maybe, I don't know if it's your forte, but if you want to, like, just look in that bathroom just to see. Yeah, okay. I'll go look in there, okay. so take a peek. The no, keep that okay. running. Because while it's running here, we're going to see if there's, like, any water popping up somewhere. No, it's so dry. Thing. Is it a shower curtain that's nope. in there? Nope. Okay. Okay, so we checked the sewer. We found no issues where it runs out this way, but we're going to go over to the bathroom over here where we heard a lot of hissing. All right, let's go over here. water here all over the floor uh, we shut the water to the house off just to eliminate the possibility if it was leaking somewhere behind here because a lot of the sound was coming from here but the water meter is underneath here I don't know if we can hear it but it's leaking on the opposite side of the meter on the other side of the foundation so it looks like it's a water line rupture. So we just want to document that. Water's coming around the toilet. Get close so you can hear it. Okay. Found it. 